with a smile and expecting her to say yes or no. And she's just like... <laughs> and I was like, I felt like I wanted to cry. <laughs> the stereotypes that Germans are cold. Is that true? I would say, yeah, ganz genau. They are freaking cold, borderline rude. But once you get really close to them, then you'll be like best friends for life. They will really, really support you so much. Ah, <sighs> culture differences. Yeah. Gosh, my first experience in the Frankfurt airport, the first time I landed in Germany, just came out with my 50 other friends or something in the same flight, but I was in front. We came to like the immigration space. Inside one booth were two officers just talking to each other and looking at us. I'm like confused. So I came to them and kind of just opened with, hello, is this where I'm supposed to go? And they're just looking at me and I'm like snickering. I'm like, what the heck did I do wrong? Did I say something wrong in German or something? And they're like, passport. I'm like, oh, okay. And I tried to be friendly and stuff. And they're just like, oh, oh my God. Another one. When we were from the airport on the way to our city, we were going in a bus. And then we stopped by this mini market. In the small shop, there were maybe like five, six locals. There's like 50 of us. And once we come in, everyone's just like looking at us like freaking Asian invasion coming in. And because we were fresh off the plane, we only had like 50 and 100 euro bills. So everyone was lining up just to buy like a bottle of water costing maybe one euro. So the cashier is pretty much pissed off. The customers are also pissed off because of the sudden insurge. And then the toilet lady, I asked if the tap water was drinkable. And I tried asking in German. And after like mustering up the courage to like talk to her, I'm just like, oh, Entschuldigung, können wir das Wasser trinken? With a smile and expecting her to say yes or no. And she's just like, Like I felt like I wanted to cry. <laughs> yeah, so that was the Asian invasion story. One of the biggest culture shocks I got when I first came to Germany was how Germans treat new people in the group. I'll start with the story. 2019 March, I was in Germany for the first time ever for a six month internship. Now in March, it was the first month that I was separated from the rest of my classmates because we were all interning in different places. I was living in this small city and an acquaintance invited me over to a barbecue lunch. I tried to expose myself to new people and really bask in the German culture. So I really jumped on the opportunity. I was a bit scared because I barely spoke German in that first month. I mean, I learned it in uni, yeah, sure, but like, how's your German, huh? 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 <laughs> I mean, it's like, I was in a B1 level. B1, 1. When I was here and I heard people speak in German for real, it was very different than when I had my German lessons back home. So this acquaintance picked me up with his girlfriend. Once we were in his house, there were two other friends. And then we were sitting on the table eating. And I was really shocked because I feel like everyone was just ignoring me. Like, do they not like me? Do they, are they not interested in me? Because they just kept talking amongst themselves about things that I have no idea about. The food was good though, but that was my first experience with how German people treat newcomers. After living here for a while, I realized that German people really respect privacy so when there's a newcomer you'd probably like yeah my name is blah 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 everyone tells their names and then you just talk about whatever this is very different than what i'm used to in indonesia so for those of you who don't know hi i'm jen or Gene. this is a pretty late introduction into the video but yeah i'm indonesian born and raised in jakarta and i've been in germany for the last couple of years in indonesia we are used to small talk we call it basa basi. It's just embedded in the culture. We're just really friendly people. If we were in Jakarta, so when the new person comes in, it's like, hello, and then you're gonna be just asking about every single thing about the person. But that's kind of just the thing. We would normally ask like, hi, what's your name? How old are you? Oh, where do you study? Or where do you work? Oh, have you been to this place? Oh, what languages do you speak? Oh, do you have sisters? Oh, what sports do you like? Like, it's just, just how we ice break. And the Germans don't do that. So that's why when nobody was really asking me personal questions, I was thinking that they didn't like me being there or they're just not interested in me. But it's just really the culture difference. Another big difference is how Germans use the word friend or 
Freund or Freundin. In the beginning, when I was telling a story to my German friends, I would say, Ah, yeah, ich hab eine Freundin uh, in Freiburg. Oh, okay, they're listening this. And then I told them again, Ich hab auch Freunde in Soos. Eine Freundin hat geheiratet. And then my German friends start to give me like a weird look, and I'm like, Why? I'm just telling about my friends. And they're like, Sind die Freunde oder Bekannte oder Kameraden? friends isn't that the same thing they're like no what they meant by friend or friendin is best friend like really close friends because in indonesian we would say for friend teman for classmates teman sekelas colleagues teman sekantor you see they're all friends and i just translate them but this geht nicht okay so be careful when you use the term friend just really specify what kind of friend they are and like how close you are to them by now, I have one really close German friend. We have the same hobbies, we both like dancing. You've probably seen her in one of my other dancing through Germany videos. We like the same kinds of movies, about the same age, just how friends are. But I really feel like German friendships, once they matured, it's very, 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 very close. Like another friend I have, my boss actually, he has a friend and they've been friends since like high school or something and they meet every Thursday a guy's night out or a guy's night in where it's just the two of them and they just talk about life, I don't know, watch TV, talk about computers, eat, beer, you know, just stuff like that but they've been doing it for like 35 years every week, oh, that's crazy. I mean, of course, friendships are also like that in other countries but I think it's a lot more prominent and explicit in Germany. But I think that's also why in the beginning they seem to be really cold because they preserve that close deep relationship for someone who they really trust and who they really know. So if you don't know a German, for example, you're in the supermarket in a line or something, don't expect that you're gonna have basa basi or small talk with them. They're just gonna be like, what? why are you talking to me? Do I know you? Very different in Indonesia once again. You basically become best friends after <laughs> five minutes of talking and then you never see them again. So my tip for you if you are planning to go to Germany or to have German friends, give them time, give them space. But once you found people who you really click with and vice versa, they really click with you, then you might have just found a friendship that will really last you a lifetime. If there are more topics about Germany that you would like me to talk about, comment them down below and I'll try to incorporate them in my next videos. So, thanks for watching, Jen out, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers! Ah, cultures. Everyone around the world, there's a bird.